podcast. This is um, September 23rd or 24th, depending on where you live. Um, yeah. I'm Kelsey. I'm the person who's normally here. And below me is Gio. Say hi. Hi there. Hey, I'm Jill. Or Jill. Yeah. Sure. I know. Yeah. I know. I keep call. I, I always call you Jill, but then you introduced yourself the last time you were on here as Gino. So I kept getting it confused the whole uh-huh. time you were on last. I'm like, <laughs> 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 so this is Jill. No, I'm just going to call Jill what I yeah. usually call Jill. <laughs> and um, Jill joined us a few weeks back to explain um, kind of the direction we were going with the cooking mechanic. Um, yeah. And we are kind of going to be um, expanding on that a little bit, but in the direction of actual foods that you can make with the cooking mechanic. Right. Because, you know, that's that's what you use it for. Um, I did not, I don't know if people knew that you, you know, cook food when you say cooking, but I, we here at uh, Quickfire Games are giving you the know-how about what cooking actually is. I know. Exactly. <sighs> um, but anyway, um, uh, sorry if um, Jill this week is a little blurry and has um, some static going on in his life. Um, as we've complained about every single time, uh, Filipino internet is awful. So uh, please, please um, bear with us while we're <laughs> trying to go through this. But um so yeah, today we're going to be kind of showing off some uh, kind of like basic dishes um, that you can make in the game. Uh, we have way more dishes than what we're showing and way more complicated dishes, um, but we kind of wanted to show like your your fundamentals, I guess, today. Um, and oh no, Dustin, you can't see us. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yay! Okay. Yay. <laughs> Everybody, oh, like one person a stream always has a problem, and it's just like, Twitch, oh, just that. get it together. <laughs> get it together, <laughs> Twitch. Um, so yeah, we're going to be just showing these basic things, and then we're also going to be um, like introducing a kind of community thing that we want to do with you guys to kind of get you more involved a little bit. But um, we'll get into that kind of after... Uh, we talk about some food first. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, uh, as you can see, there's there's going to be a lot more breakfast food. And after we're done with this too, um, we can talk a little bit more about food options in general. Because, for instance, um, we have been saying that um, there was not going to be meat in the game. But since then, we have decided that you can actually cook with meat. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, but don't worry about like buttering your cows or something, since you always buy them in like general stores stuff. Yeah, yeah, like you you um can only buy meat. You can't like go butcher your cow or your sheep or your. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you cannot kill things. Right. So. Moving on, uh, we next have some things that you can have as an appetizer. Because, yeah, appetizer slash side dishes. I think side dishes might actually be a better term for this than appetizer. But let's okay. see here. We have herb salad. We had some corn on the cob. That was the shiniest piece of corn I've ever seen in my life. I love it. <laughs> um, and um, omelet du fromage. Yes, as you can see, we, we are very partial to eggs here. <laughs> So moving on to lunch and dinner, we got we got your three main staples, and by three main staples, I mean not necessarily your three main staples whatsoever. We got butter oysters, we got some spaghetti, and we got some uh, fried rice. Well, um, yeah. I don't know. I've had oysters as an actual meal before. I've always had them as an appetizer. Oh, those small ones, like, you spoon them up in a spoon thing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've always <coughs> eaten my oysters out of the shell, because I don't know why. Oh. Because, like, the the salt water in it tastes really good. I don't know. But I, I, some people eat it with, like, a little, like, they, don't they give you, like, a super, super small little fork or something for them? Like, the smallest fork in the oh. world? It's it's what 
I think that like the people that play the tiniest violin for others um, use to eat. <laughs> right. Um, and then yeah, uh, spaghetti. It's a thing. Um, I call it spaghetti. I'm pretty sure that's from like a Tim and Eric, like thing or something. Spaghetti. Um, and then uh, fried rice, which is rice that is fried. <laughs> um and Mizuru, yeah, actually, um if uh, speaking of food ideas, we're actually going to um be talking about you guys giving food ideas after we introduce yeah. drinks. Oh my gosh, you can have some drinks. We oh, there's food. Some food. Some drinks. We yeah. got some uh you guys can make beer and wine. We have beer and wine making. It's a thing. It can happen. Uh-huh. And then uh, yeah. hot chocolate, which actually people really like Alice's hot chocolate at the end. When you enter winter, everybody's going to be like, go to the end and try Alice's hot chocolate. And Alice is just going to be like, I don't get why people like it. I just like make confection. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, can, even why? You can get drunk in wild season, by the way. Um even those special effects, like your fish is like wavy and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So uh, be careful. <laughs> but it technically can happen. Um, Mizuru, yes, please give us recipes. We'll talk about more in a second. Um, but Oro says, uh, will it affect the player's movement? That we're still trying to uh, determine yet. Mm. It'll definitely affect things like vision. Um, there's some uh, stamina effects we're kind of working with right now. Um, and uh, there will be uh, some certain people that will not like that you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> Making me really hungry. Hey, we have some desserts. Oh, yeah. It's, it's... <laughs> there we go. So, uh, yeah, you can bake yourself some cookies. You can have a chocolate cake. You can have yourself some ice cream. Yeah, you're going to be able to make some ice cream. And yeah. uh, that's kind of like the main three categories, really. Cookies, cakes, and ice cream, right? For desserts? Yes. Uh, generally pastries. Uh, yeah. Frozen treats. Mm-hmm. What else? Uh, yeah. We'll see those. Yeah. Cake. Uh, do we have cheesecake? Cheesecake? Um, I think we do. Yeah, I think. I think we do too. I'm pretty. Sh- I think it's a strawberry cheesecake, actually. Now thinking about it. Yeah, and we have like a strawberry shortcake as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff with strawberries because strawberries are great. <laughs> exactly. So, um, yeah. So that's kind of like the main three things of desserts. Um, the kids in town really tend to like desserts. Um, some of them are very, 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 very fond of herb ice uh, cream and others hate it <laughs> so you have to figure out which kids like it and which kids hate it <laughs> yeah you can just oh. go ahead and experiment stuff yeah because they're just like oh there's herbs in it that's gross and others are just like this is the best thing ever <laughs> <laughs> you're right oh so we have like milkshakes in here oh. oh no yeah yeah i think we have milkshakes I know. Oh, yeah, okay. we have a vanilla and chocolate milkshake. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, actually, in one of their descriptions, I've added like um, Don, those kids, like Don, mm-hmm. Roy. Um, for some reason, they always go to your yard whenever you make milkshakes. <laughs> you get that reference? So, so let me make this straight. Let me get this straight. You made a reference in a description box about how milkshakes bring young children into your yard. Actually, it was like it brings boys to your yard, but I don't want to run into like uh, uh, copyright issues, so I just made it like a random joke. Okay. I, I would just like to say that we apparently promote bringing boys to, to your yard, and those boys are good children into your yard. I just, you heard it here first. <laughs> Again, 
did it while uh, uh, quick fire games. We are we are breaking all the boundaries. <laughs> um, I'm glad. I'm glad we had this talk. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of the big categories that we wanted to show you guys. Of uh, their things, you can cook them. We have way more food than that. But speaking of way more food, um, we'd like to take some time to talk about um a community project we kind of want to do, but Jill has a little bit more information about that. So Jill, tell us this community thing. So this community cookbook is like, we will try to get your suggestions, and then we will try to make them. Since right now we will have like around 100 dishes, and then uh, I don't think I have covered yet the uh, the country specific dishes yet, can like curry or even what else? Well, I covered tacos, but not all of the country. So, the country, you guys, you could always just send, just pile up a community cookbook so that we will make that cook for you. Yeah, so it's pretty much like you guys suggest um, recipes and um, we kind of try to figure out how to put those recipes in the game and with, you know, kind of the items that we have. Um, and thankfully, now that we have meat, we'll have, you know, like beef, chicken, uh, fish, obviously, because you can fish. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so since we have like those sorts of meats, that really opens our options now. Um, because you don't have to think about, well, I either have to make this tofu or it has to already be vegetarian. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a good word. So, uh, Jill, if uh, people want to suggest food, uh, where would they suggest it? Like, where on the internet? Where should we send them? Oh, so the community managers could, or even Matt's, will provide them a link. So that oh. they could like post it there. there. Okay, <laughs> great. Yeah, I'll I'll yeah. read it out once um, our quickfire account puts the link up there. Um, but yes, this would be very very helpful. Um, we kind of want to compile something that's you know a little bit more, you know, community oriented in the game, so people can feel like they're involved. And I mean. Food brings everyone together, right? I mean, it brought us together today for us to tell you that cooking is a thing and that people do it. So, I mean, yeah, I know. Again, I'm I'm just as amazed as you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, actually, Missouri, I think we already have um lasagna. It's possible. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we already got you there. Don't don't worry. We 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 covered all our very very main bases. I feel. Yeah. But anyway, um, let's see. I'm waiting on that link. Yell at them. Yell at Maddie. 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 Where can they put stuff, off. man? Come on, where, yo. Where can they put stuff? Yeah, the, the community the open. open. Yeah. Either tweet it to us and we'll just come out. Go to first app. Okay. Okay. So what Matt said is they could just post it in the Facebook page or they could just tweet it to oh. yeah. To well, uh, yeah, on the Facebook page, I guess we'll make a thread about it. Um, and you guys can go there or tweet us and be like, this is all the crap that we want you guys to put in. And we'll be like, that's great crap. And uh, I call food. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, and uh, we will compile things. Um, I'm sure at some point too there will be a um, a Steam uh, forum page too. Um, that's kind of where we've been keeping a lot of our forum activity lately. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of it for us. Uh, please, please send in your um, your recipes. We would really appreciate them. Um, and, uh, Jill, thank you again so much for joining me, and, uh, I oh, hope you guys you well. have a good day, night, whatever you are in right now. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have